Hello everyone. I'm going to do a quick video on how to pass your CISSP slash book reviews. So the first book that I would strongly, strongly recommend for passing the CISSP is the official guide, IC Square official guide, um, CISSP. Um, this one here is the seventh edition, um, but I'm sure they have other editions right now. But regardless of the edition, um, get this book. It is by Cybex. And like I said before, Cybex books are um, awesome, um, easy to read and follow along. Um, best way to, to read uh, and study and prepare with this book is to devise a plan. So um, take a chapter every week and try to study the chapter. The second strategy would be, get this out of the way. Second strategy would be to go at the end of each chapter. Uh, fun. So they've got an assessment test and even better than the, uh, so the assessment test is uh, before. Um, and then at the end of each chapter they have end of chapter question but the best way I would say to prepare is to read the chapter and then focus heavily on the exam essentials everything within the exam essentials um, study that look here understanding the CIA triad elements of confidentiality integrity and availability um, know that very well um, uh, another trick would be to get the flashcards if you know what a flashcard is this is what it is you write the question um, based off the um, exam essentials write a question here and then on the back the answer um, if you don't have time to do flashcards get the isc squared app so there's an app for this book looks like this uh, the picture of the app um, it basically has all the end question, um, end chapter questions, as well as the exam essentials. And it's a good tool to use um, if you're at a doctor's office waiting, if you're on the bus, or your friend's car in the back seat, um, passenger side, whatever. Um, it's a good thing to use. Uh, this book also gives you. Um, practice test it also gives you flashcards and a practice test so if you go to cybex test banks dot wiley dot com and you enter in your pin um, you will get the you get access to the uh, the test now this is for the older version of the CISSP but in my opinion um, no knowledge is lost with the CISSP uh, it's the same information, just kind of mumbled or put in different um, um, domains. Uh, next one I will recommend would be this guy here. The CISSP Study Guide by Eric Conrad. Uh, Seth uh, Meisner, Joshua Philbin. It's a good book. Um, kind of uh, compresses all the information into uh, little chapters and focuses on stuff that I think you should focus on. Uh, it's a good read. It's also got practice questions. Um, there is also this book. This is an older version of the book. They also have um, other versions, but it's the all-in-one. comes with a CD, access to practice tests, uh, I believe a PDF. Um, and it's a lot of information. So my my thing about this book is, uh, although it's a lot of information, no knowledge is lost, it does have, so I was told, and I haven't confirmed this, that this book was um, kind of made for the educational system. So it was made to be used in universities and colleges. So it might have more information than is needed for the CISSP, but it's a great book, great, great book. Um, I think it was like one of the first 
CISSP books. It's uh, written by, it was written by Sean Harris, uh, who was a pioneer for cybersecurity. She has passed away. So I'm not sure what the new books will look like, but it's a great book to have and use as a study guide. Now there is also, I'll come back to this one, there's also a practice test version of this book. You can find that on Amazon. Uh, great book to use for practice tests. Great, great book. I strongly recommend that. There's another one. This book here, uh, it's good to get practice questions, but this book is um, hard to, um, I want to say it's hard to follow. The questions in there are harder than what you would find on the exam. So if you want a, uh, uh, a non-confidence booster, uh, use this practice test here. It will definitely um, wear you out. But uh, yeah, like I said, practice questions are good. No knowledge lost. My other advice for you would be to go to um, um, freepracticetest.com um, and use those practice tests over there. Also, skillset.com. Also, be careful with skillset.com because it's people who also post questions on there. So uh, always try to verify the answers when you um, use that uh, question mark. So there is also um, csecure.com is a, another good resource for a practice tests. I'll try to put the information below, but um, for the most part, if you get any of these uh, resources, you'll be fine. Remember the CISSP is one of the best, in my opinion, the best cybersecurity um, certification out there by IC squared and it pays well. It's, it's in high demand. It pays well. Um, it's an exam that I think you can do Just focus, um, devote time to studying and you will do it. Uh, the big part of the CISSP is that it's, uh, broad covers every aspect of cybersecurity and you just never know what you will get on the exam if you're going to get more networking questions or more um, access control questions. Just study everything and you'll be better off for doing that. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.